Let's talk about how long it takes to 3D print a house. This is something that has tons of false headlines and a simple Google search doesn't really give you the real information. So today we're going to look at some of the facts and then based off primary sources, determine some of the realistic time frames for the construction activities involved in a 3D printed home. Before we get into that, I'd like to touch on how a lot of these issues are deep rooted in construction. There have been a lot of studies on some of the inefficiencies. For example, 9 out of 10 projects have cost overruns and only 10% of contractors fall within 10% of their budget. That was over a three year study conducted by McKinsey. McKinsey also did a study that showed construction productivity has been on a decline since the 90s, despite all the technologies and softwares that are being implemented. I actually believe a lot of these softwares tend to increase the issues on the job site through the learning curves, rather than increasing the amount of labor completed per human on the job site. According to a separate study, one third of construction issues on the job site come from poor communication and they could be solved just by people talking to each other and being more clear about what's required. The final statistic I'd like to share with you today is that McKinsey believes productivity changes could lead to $1.63 trillion of savings in the construction industry. On this channel, we believe automation will unlock the potential for some of these savings and improvements in time, cost, and safety on job sites. If you'd like to check out some of those studies for yourself, I have links to all of them at the description below. I've put up an article on my website which explains them all a little bit in more detail. You can't always trust what you read online. If you want to find out how long it takes to 3D print a house and you do a simple Google search like any old person would, then here's what you find. The first link that popped up when I did a Google search was this website Zebra. And they have an article with all kinds of infographics and claims that the 3D printed construction process is cheaper, faster. They didn't do much research at all. This article, an article like this was probably written by searching other articles and using them as sources without digging into it or asking the people involved in the project. This website primarily sells insurance, so I wouldn't hold them too accountable for the details and facts. They're not a credible journal, uh, but let's take a look at what some other publications have to say. Today is a lot more popular and credible, and this is a project by SQ4D. They're writing that it took half the time, half the price. We'll actually look at this specific project that you saw in that video above and see some of the timelines. So they don't exactly line up with the claims made in this article. Next we have a website, the 3D Printing Industry. This is actually a great site that publishes a lot of fantastic information. Their journalists, however, are not going on site, so they're having to rely on the information available online, which isn't always accurate. This article has lots of misleading information about the time that it takes to print, and a lot of that <clears throat> comes from a simple misconception. The difference between print time and how many days the printer was on site operating. Print time is the active time, so potentially you're printing for three to eight hours a day, and there's maybe an hour of setup and takedown after that if your team is well organized. Otherwise, weather changes and other things typical in the construction industry can lead to delays that are unexpected. When you hear a figure like print time, that's just the active time the printer was running for the successful layers of the print not the whole project from when the printer arrived to when it departs. Yahoo Finance has another article. This one is probably the most misleading. It says that the house can be printed in 12 hours. I visited this house many times during its construction process and we'll look at some of those dates to compare the reality of the time frame of this project to the 12 hour claim that they make in the headline. Most of the articles carefully explain the distinction between print time and the time it takes to complete a home but this one pushes it in the opposite direction and reinforces falsehoods by saying things like a typical home takes four weeks to build and this home takes only half a day. So here's the first project by Alquist. It's a Habitat for Humanity home in Virginia and you can see they've completed the first layers. This was a day of printing. Uh, it's actually the second day of printing so they had some successful layers underneath and printed the new layers on top while I was there. It's about a foot tall and since it's August 27th, I wasn't able to stop by for uh, another few months. But the next time I came to the site, 
the printer was still there and they had pretty much just completed the final layers. So now the printing is done, but we still have a lot of the house left until it can be delivered. So you're still relying on the schedules of the other construction activities and subcontractors to complete the home. And since you are only printing the wall structure, the time saved is only relative to the time it would take to build that wall out of studs, whether they be uh, aluminum or stick built or a poor house out of concrete. Now it's November 29th and they've completed a lot of the parts of the home that are important for weatherproofing the windows, the roof, but the interior is not finished whatsoever. Here's the handover day on December 26th, 2021. These dates are all off by maybe a week or two because I usually don't post the same day that I film, but none of them are more than a week or two uh, after the date I was visiting there in person. At this point, the house is complete and it looks fantastic. They did a really good job finishing it and making it fit in with the other homes in the neighborhood, maybe even a little nicer than some of the other homes in the neighborhood. A lot of what we would hope is that with experience, these projects can be completed faster. This was actually the first home Alquist did. This video is from August 18th, 2021. You can see by August 18th, they had finished all of the printing. And so the printer was off site working on the project we just saw previously, but this house still wasn't completed for another five or six months. So it's clear that there are challenges in the construction process, not just in the printing, but in all of the other subcontractors overall. Here's a project by SQ4D. It's just a demo house. No one will ever live in it, but it's in a concrete plant. And when I first stopped by, the printer was still on site. So they had basically just completed the home and they're prepping for the roof structure, which we'll see added onto it in the next video. This is on February 17th of 2020. And it wasn't until December 6th of 2021 that I stopped by again. The house was almost complete. You can see the stickers are still on the windows and above the front door, there's one small triangle that they still haven't put siding on. You saw the time discrepancies from the headlines to the videos that I filmed of the very same projects. The difference is I went on site to double check for myself. The reality is you can print maybe six inches an hour, uh, maybe a little faster, give or take three inches, depending on the job and their skill set. Uh, also, the size of the house makes a huge impact on how high you can print. So these things all limit the amount that you can print in one day and the printer doesn't always run perfectly. So you might have a day where you're having material troubles. Maybe your material got old. Depending on the supplier, it might have a two week to six month shelf life. So things like this can disrupt the construction process. A lot of these things can be ironed out with time as people get more experience. So a learning curve is also part of the reason these projects take longer than anticipated at first. Things like weather get in the way and even labor. Another issue I've seen is something like a custom window fitting because these homes have such unique uh, customization options with the printer. You might not be able to get that custom size window for like two months. And during these projects, the shipping was in a crisis mode. So it's part of the reason they were longer than initially expected. There are other things out of your control that can impact your scheduling, like permitting and inspections. These things can take extra long when it's a construction method that the inspector has never seen before. So you need to be ready for some unpredictable issues that delay your schedule, which are completely out of your control. This technology is still in an early stage. And so on site, they're doing R&D, trying to make improvements. Every team has a punch list of things they want to innovate, whether it be the mixing system, the hose management system, their material delivery, even their communication between their team members. So the R&D trying new things increases the time it takes to complete the project, but also increases the education of the team. So it's an investment in the long term to ultimately decrease the time it takes to use this technology. I don't know if we'll ever get around things like the weather, and there's still all of the other construction trades to worry about. So as automation continues to grow and you guys improve the robots around us that can construct houses to be accountable for a larger portion of the construction process, hopefully we can kind of see some of these communication hopes that McKinsey talks about, the $1.63 trillion in savings, be unlocked through the power of technology.